We say that we can never come back from hell. This time, a miracle has happened, and it really is a miracle. Mina is near me, still unconscious, but alive, and that is the most important thing. I don't know how Mina will be marked by this adventure, but all I know is that as long as the Count is alive, Mina will be in danger. I can't avoid the confrontation any longer. Once I'm in London, I will have to confront Dracula. For Mina, and for all the men on this earth, this time, and with the help of God, we will definitively destroy the monster. I swear it. You're nothing more than a rat lost in a labyrinth. But I'll have you know that this game no longer amuses me. I... Silence! In a little while, everything that is yours will be mine. Then your life will be worth no more than that of an insect. And I shall simply pick you away. Jonathan, at last you're here. We were so worried. I'm here, and I'm all right. So then, what did you discover? It seems that Carfax is not quite as deserted as we thought. Hmm, I see what you mean. I've been noticing some very odd things there for some time now. All this is becoming rather disturbing. Does the name Styx mean anything to you? It's the river of hell in Greek mythology, but I think it's also the name of a theater in London, isn't it? Yes, in fact, it's all the rage now. A hall where a cinematographer shows horror films. There's a mystery surrounding the identity of the owner, but I've done some investigating and have found nothing in the least bit suspicious. You'd better think again. I found proof at Carfax that Dracula is the owner of the Styx. My God, I've read that all London is lining up to go there. It's a fact that we cannot ignore, but it's very unlikely that the Styx is our principal target. To defeat Dracula once and for all, we have got to find his lair and strike at the heart. Have you found anything out about that ring that I brought back? I've been able to reconstruct its history thanks to Mina, who has transcribed the wax cylinders which were recorded as a favor to me by a historian friend of mine. My attacks are so frequent that I don't have much time to work, and Seward insisted that I rest, but... I wanted to help you. What have you discovered? The last known trace of the ring was back in 1442. It seems it belonged to Radu, a Romanian prince and the half-brother of Dracula. But there's more to it. Apparently, the ring is incomplete. In fact, in the engravings described, the ring is shown with a kind of diamond in its center. According to my friend's documents, this stone had the virtue of counterbalancing the evil side of the ring. We don't know any more, but it's certain that Dracula will do everything he can to get it back. Hopkins, look, I'm armed to fight Dracula. Help me to save Mina. You've seen her, you see how vulnerable she is. But to save Mina would mean betraying the Master. I cannot act against the Master, but I can't leave Mina in danger either. What a terrible dilemma. I've already beaten Dracula. Trust me, and together we can save Mina. It'll take more than words to convince me. I know that you possess the dragon's ring. If you want me to trust you and help you, give it to me. That way you can let me be the judge of how sincere you are. And take these in exchange. Here are my spectacles. They will be extremely useful to you because they may come in mortal sea with a secret vision of the vampires. The master is right to be wary of you. You're a brave man. I shall help Mina. Mmm, delicious. This fly is a real treat. Hopkins, what happened to Mina and Dr. Seward? Tell me. So you know my name. 
There's no need to introduce myself then. I've been dying to meet you. Let's dispense with the formalities. I've got to know what happened here. You're not in a position to demand anything. All you need to know is that the Master considered that the good Dr. Seward had become somewhat bothersome. And Mina? Madame Mina... The... 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 The, the Master wants her. He... She's with him. Yes, she's with him. So our friend has returned alive from Transylvania with Mina and the Dragon's Ring. He has proved to be a more difficult adversary than I imagined. Watch him. He must not cause us any more trouble. Is that understood? Yes, Master. I hope so, for your sake. Because the hour of victory is near, and I will no longer tolerate the slightest error. A little more patience, and Jonathan Harker will cease to be a problem. And then Mina and the Dragon's Ring will once more belong to me. I have spoken. It's you. It's really you. Get up and tell me that everything is in place just as I had intended. Yes, Master. Everything is ready, just as you ordered me to do. Then let my will be done. Nothing can stop me now. Nothing and nobody. Well, well, just in time, as the Master said. It just needs your corpse, and my work will be finished. And then I shall get my reward. Prepare to die. Oh, but don't worry. I shall make sure it's slow and extremely painful. <laughs> Already a week has gone by since we returned from Transylvania, and I still cannot manage to sleep. Mina's condition is very worrying. The vampire's bite is causing her to have increasingly violent attacks. Fortunately, our good friend Dr. Seward is achieving miracles in his fight against this disease without a name. And then there are these shadows that slide along the wall and seem to watch me. Is it because of the ring that I brought back from Dracula's castle? I hope that Seward can give us an explanation. He's been examining the object for a week now. I myself have finally decided to go to Carfax, Dracula's latest sanctuary in London. Perhaps I shall find some clues there that will help me to pick up his trail.
Seward. It's too late for me, but there's still hope for Mina. Now go and destroy Carfax. There is a secret passage behind the organ. It opens when you press on one of the keys. When you are safe, I shall destroy everything here. That way the monster will have nowhere to hide. Jonathan, give me your pistol. Take this key. It opens my laboratory at the asylum. Use the results of my research to save Mina. Sword. I... I know. Me too, my friend. Me too. Mina. Steward, my dear friend, my physical suffering is only equaled by the pain in my heart. Your death must be the last on a list which is already too long. Once I have destroyed Carfax, Dracula will have no choice but to take refuge in his sanctuary at Highgate. Then I shall draw the monster from his lair and kill him. Your sacrifice will not have been in vain. I pray that you will hear my vow, wherever you may be. as if our little troublemaker is coming round. The game is over. This weapon can no longer save you. You're at my mercy. What do you want? You can see for yourself. You are in my castle in Transylvania, and you can expect no one to help you. You've lost. Now tell me where the ring is, and I shall be merciful. Where is Mina? 
Mina is no longer any of your business, but I'm prepared to spare your life if you give me the ring. That's a fool's bargain. People mean nothing to you. I know that the ring can destroy you. Without it, you're nothing more than a puppet hanging on its last string. I shall never tell you where it is. Me? A puppet? How dare you speak to me like that? Your tiny mortal brain hasn't quite grasped the importance of what's going on. The world will soon be nothing more than a shadowy garden people with slaves over which I shall rule with Mina at my side. What a pity you won't live long enough to see my triumph. In a few moments, life as you know it will cease to exist. You will become one of those beings you've so vainly fought against. There could be no more miserable fate than Jonathan Hawkers. Hopkins. So it's you who's in charge of the dirty work. I might have known. Don't make your situation any worse than it already is by talking rubbish. Think about it. If I had betrayed you, the ring would be in Dracula's hands now, rather than in the protection of St. George in the cemetery where I've put it. Now I have to leave before the master notices my absence. And be careful. Beyond that door, there is danger everywhere. Attempts to harm me are so pathetic. I tell you that nothing you can do will prevent my union with Mina. I condemn you to be burnt alive in this hell. Mr. Jonathan, sir, please come in. This place always makes my flesh crawl. You're right to be wary, and if I may be so bold, I should avoid going into that room when I'm not around. They can be very dangerous, and I'm talking from experience. I shall leave you now. Dr. Seward is waiting for you in his office. I confess, I just don't know what to do now. Mina, if you aren't too tired, perhaps you and I could have another try at hypnosis. I'm ready to do anything rather than stay under Dracula's yoke forever. Doctor, let's go. Your eyes are closing. Your spirit is roaming free. What do you see? I see a, a garden of stone, a, a shadow walking. He, he's coming to find me. Uh, I can hear voices. They'll make me go mad. Help me! Mina, you will sleep now. Sleep. Sleep. She describes the same scene at each session. I think the stone garden must be the cemetery at Highgate. Highgate, you say? Now that Mina is asleep, I can tell you that my visit to Carfax nearly cost me my life. But a man called Peabody was not so lucky. I found his body. And it seems that he worked at Highgate. Peabody, dead. He was investigating on my behalf. He said that he had seen some strange goings-on near a tomb decorated with a stone wolf. It's more than likely that the cemetery is where Dracula has his secret sanctuary. Take this key and go over there. It will be safer to go via the sewers. I shall stay here with Mina. Your determination is of no avail. 
Whatever happens, I cannot lose. Do you hear? But you cannot win either. Let Mina go. Can a chess player carry on the game without his queen? Only a fool would believe that. <laughs> Wherever you go, I'll be there. Careful, fortune will not smile on you forever. And humans only have one life, a short one at that. Mina! I know why you're here. I've seen Mina. She's in the castle. Can love make you so stupid that you're willing to risk your life again? You should never have come back. The demons are everywhere and they're waiting for you. And you can see for yourself that I've lost everything. From now on, nothing can save you. You will die. Does the name Kazan mean anything to you? He was the Chamberlain of Lord Radu, Dracula's half-brother. God rest his soul. He disappeared on the same evening as his master and a handful of loyal retainers. We didn't always agree with each other, but he was loyal. Why do you mention Kazan? I found his body and this mysterious parchment was beside him. You see these pentagrams drawn on the edges of the parchment. They represent the evil forces which reign in the castle. As for the text, it is written with a magic alphabet. Translating it is child's play. It speaks of the Grand Knight of the Order of St. George, a great warrior in God's service whose body lies in the castle's cemetery. The text speaks of a golden cross which was cast to commemorate his feats. It's a great symbol of devotion to the divine forces which could wipe out the pentagrams I just told you about. It is written that Kazan and his men stole it to prevent Dracula from getting hold of it. <laughs> A very wise move. Look at this. I found it in Dracula's prisons. Good God, I don't believe it. This stone belonged to Radu. I thought this jewel was gone forever. Do you still have the ring? Yes, it's here. Unbelievable! This is what will give you strength in your struggle with Dracula. I'm sure he had not foreseen that the ring could be reassembled. The two elements are powerful on their own, but the complete ring can destroy him forever. How can you reassemble the stone and the ring? The ritual states that the ring must be placed on the dragon stell, which is in Dracula's final sanctuary. But my powers are strong enough for me to assemble the ring and the stone. Let the shadows witness my gesture! Uh, 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 uh. Come closer. I've waited so long for this moment. And now, so close to death, I just wish I had more time. Dracula must be annihilated. You must complete your quest and rescue your wife. I'll transfer some of my powers to my ring. With it, you can control the pentagrams, the evil forces which are in the castle. <laughs> Everything is going dark. Is there no light to welcome Dorco? <laughs>
nothing but foil my plans, and I cannot bear to see you any longer, disabling my traps and passing through my defenses. Just who do you think you are to defy me in my own castle? The punishment of death awaits you in this room. Once again, I am on my way to Transylvania, and I have the feeling that this will be the last time I make this journey. Either I shall succeed in finding Mina and overcome Dracula, or I shall die in the attempt. What kind of world am I going to find there? Shall I meet Dorko the Witch again? I can still remember how powerless I felt when she shut Mina and I in the castle attic to hand us over to Dracula even though I had risked my life to restore her powers. But when I arrive, will I have a choice of allies? I remember what Dracula said at the Styx. In the castle, I can't expect any kind of help. I shall be left to my own devices, with Mina's life hanging by a thread. Once more, I place my life in the hands of God and St. George. May they walk beside me during the battle. I'm delighted to see you again, too. Do you know where Mina is? Mina is presently in the Master's Ultimate Refuge. It's better known as the Final Sanctuary. I must go there. I was sure you would say that. I'll take you there. Let's take the stairs. Hopkins, you saved my life. Oh, well, I don't think it will be enough to save me. I've done so much harm. Better not talk now, Hopkins. I'll get you some help. No, don't waste precious time. Here's the key to the door which leads into the keep. Once inside, a lift will take you to the final sanctuary. Be careful, because God only knows what kind of terrible traps you'll have to face. Go and save Mina. Tell her simply that I wasn't as bad as all that, will you? I promise I will. Oh, I know you will. You're a man of honor. Oh.
So you have passed through all the obstacles, the traps. You've killed all my servants, but you are too late. Mina and I are going to be united, and you can no longer stop us. Mina will be my queen forever. Mina, I beg you, say something. Don't let him decide for you. I know that our love is stronger than he is. I'm confused, but everything in me tells me that I am his. Body and soul. You are wasting your time. Mina is mine. It is written. It's her choice and her destiny. And you cannot prevent it. Mina can't become your wife. It's impossible. She's already married before God. That time has ended, and God seems so far from here. Now my, my memory is vague, and I don't remember either your face or the marriage you speak of. If there was some kind of proof of this love, it would certainly be quite different. Yes. Everything is coming back. So it was true. My mind is clearing, and I remember now. I can see Seward and all those close to him who died trying to resist you. You can kill anyone who gets in your way, but you will never destroy our love, because it is stronger even than death itself. That's enough! I will not tolerate this any longer. Mina, don't make this mistake. Come to me and together we shall be invincible. We shall reign over the world. I am offering you eternal life. No! All you have to offer is eternal death. I shall never follow you into this kingdom of shadows and desolation. You wanted to make me your wife? Your queen? You must learn that nothing and nobody can separate those whom God has blessed. Your treason is even harder to bear than death. You reject me. You dare to defy my authority in the very heart of my kingdom and at the risk of your life. Is this what you really desire? So be it. Since I cannot make you my queen, then you leave me no choice. You must die. But even when life has long disappeared from your body, I shall return once again, because I cannot be destroyed. Immortality is my destiny, and you must learn that losing your life is the price you pay for refusing it. Not already! The forces of evil are so powerful, why can't I do anything to stop this? Is this really the end? 